Curtis Calhoun here with MMA News, and right now I am joined by the former Bellator welterweight champion of the world, Douglas Lima, who's set to face Jason Jackson, Bellator 283 on July 22nd. Douglas, how's it going, man? Going good, going good. You know, another hard week of training, and we go have some fun. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Well, hey, let's talk about this matchup with uh, Jason Jackson. Uh, thoughts on the matchup, and uh, what kind of challenges mm -hmm. are you expecting for this fight? Uh, you know, another tough fight, you know, a tough, hungry fighter, you know, he wants his shot, you know, he wants to fight for the belt. Uh, but I feel good, man. I feel good. You know, work really hard in this camp, you know, uh, just ready to go, you know, same as always, you know, uh, been here a lot before and, you know, just ready for another one. And then looking at uh, Jason Jackson's last performance against uh, Paul Daly, obviously he used a lot of uh, wrestling in that performance. Uh, what were your mm -hmm. thoughts on his win? And, uh, uh, obviously don't give up the game plan, but, uh, what mm -hmm. kind of fight are you expecting in this one? Uh, definitely a solid win for him, for sure. You know, Daly's game, you know, uh, he's been in this game forever. So it was a good win for him. He looked good. He mixed everything up really good. Like you said, you know, uh, he threw some punches, kicks, stuff, and then wrestled. So I think him to do the same thing, you know, he on this fight, I think he's going to mix everything up. You know what I mean? He's going to try to use to use his wrestling, you know, to use the striking. I think that's the, the type of game plan that we're expecting for him. But, you know, if he wants to strike all night, we can do that too. And uh, just be ready, you know, be ready for everything, you know, that he that he brings, you know. Absolutely. And uh, you have twice the experience as him, uh, roughly, in, uh, mm -hmm. in the Bellator cage. Uh, give us your thoughts on that. Do you feel like that will yeah. be a big factor in this fight? I think so. I mean, I think so. I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable there. You know, I feel at home. Uh, but I don't think that makes a, a big difference, you know, because, uh, I mean, everybody just trains so hard, you know, you got good training partners, so you get the, you get the same feeling, you know, when you're training with, with, with guys like that, guys that's been on a big show, guys that fight for the title, and he's got that type of training, you know, where he trains, so, uh, you know, I don't think that changes a lot, but I feel good, man, I feel good, like I said, I feel confident, you know, uh, not my first rodeo, you know, so should be ready to go absolutely i did nine months since your last fight i uh, just kind of talked yeah. to me a little bit about the layoff uh how has it been mm -hmm. and uh do you feel like uh you're almost rejuvenated ahead of this next fight yeah for sure you know i've always liked to stay more busier you know mm -hmm. uh wish i could do like three fights a year you know uh especially you know now you know getting a little older so i want to get it get in there as much as i can but you know i understand how it is uh yeah nine months that's a long time you know <laughs> i thought it was lasting that so uh you know hopefully another another fight this year or maybe even two more if possible you know but the body feels good you know i'm rested you know it's been a long camp too you know because the fight got moved a couple of times so uh the main thing is just to treat the body right you know so i'm, I'm able to rest when i can uh push really hard in this camp but also, you know, taking care of the body, you know, that's, that's important. So, but I feel good. Like I said, you know, it's been a long layoff, kind of, but uh, ready to get back to work, you know. <laughs> and you and Jason Jackson are moving into the uh, main event slot for this one. Uh, tell us uh, yeah. your reaction when you found out you got that main event slot and uh, how much does that mean to you at this point in your career? Yeah, I mean, nothing, nothing really new for me. You know, most of my fights here with Bellator was five rounds. Mm -hmm. Uh I don't know if he did five rounds before. I'm not. I'm not really sure. Uh, but for me, nothing changes. We always train, you know, for five rounds. You know, no matter the fight. Uh, you know, I don't, I'm not gonna train less. You know, if it's three rounds or five or five. You know, so we always train the same way. Uh, so for me, not nothing really changed. You know, so uh, we'll be ready. We'll be ready for sure. Uh, ready to push the pace for five rounds and you know, see. I was about to ask you about that. Do you feel like going five rounds for this one and, and the level of experience that you have will be sort of an advantage, especially mm -hmm. if the fight moves into the later rounds? Uh, I mean, I've been there a bunch of times, you know. Uh, I don't know if that's going to change anything. But I, for me, I think it will. You know, I think it will. But uh, I don't look at it like that. You know, I just got to make sure I do my homework. You know, I got to make sure I train hard because I know his training. You know what I mean? Because, you know, he's got a tough opponent. You know, I got a tough opponent. So we both just got to, you know, do our jobs and work hard and train hard, you know. So, 
you know, experience does help, of course. But at the end of the day, I mean, it's a fight. You know, it's a fight. So you got to be ready. You know what I mean? Got to make sure you do your homework. Got to make sure the weight cut goes smooth. And uh, I've been doing good. I've been doing good in this training camp. You know, I've been healthy. Like I said, you know, a couple of injuries in the past. But right now, everything is good. I'm at 100%. And I feel ready. I feel ready to go for sure. Absolutely. And obviously a lot going on in your division right now. We got uh, Logan Storley, yeah. the interim champ right now. Uh, Amosov still uh, off in Ukraine. Um, just kind of mm-hmm. get your thoughts on uh, the welterweight title picture as it stands and uh, mm-hmm. everything that's going on right now. Uh, interesting, right? You know, I think Amosov is back training finally. You know, he's out of that, that war zone. So I'm sure he's going to get his fight booked up really soon. You know, I'm sure, you know, of course, it's going to be him and uh, Sterling. But uh, just interesting, man. Honestly, I'm just thinking about this fight right now because my goal for me is always fight for the title. You know, uh, I want to be a champion again, you know, for the fourth time. Right. You know, uh, being there before, lost, being back, you know, stuff like that. I've been through it a lot. Uh, you know, so just focus on this one and see what the next step is. You know, uh, I just want to get a good finish, you know, so I can get another shot at the belt. You know, that's always my goal, you know, is to fight for the belt, fight for the championship, be a champion. And uh, lost it, so it's time to get it back, you know. Absolutely. And at this point yeah. in your career, uh, how much do those title shots mean uh, any extra to you? Obviously mm-hmm. proving uh, that you're still one of the top fighters in the world, obviously, yeah. a welterweight. And um, how much mm-hmm. does that mean to you? Uh, it means a lot to me, you know, especially, you know, coming off all these losses, man. People always going to... People always gonna say something that's like, ah, three in a row. I don't think it's got it anymore. Uh, but I you know that doesn't phase me. But for myself, I mean, I'm like, man, come on, man. You gotta, you are, you already lost three times. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? You know, you gotta, you gotta get back in there. You gotta train. I talk, you know what I mean, to myself in here. But you know, it's the game we play. You know, it's hard to, you know, to stay undefeated. Every fight is hard. You know, fighting champion, championship level guys every time. Uh, but I feel good, man. I feel healthy. I feel good. You know, losses, you know, for me, is a learning lesson. You know, I too many, though, I don't want it. <laughs> it's like three in a row, man. Come on. But uh, but I feel good, man. I feel good. I'm at 100%, you know, mentally, physically. Everything is right. So just got to go over there and perform, get this win. And uh, I want to keep talking about your fight, but one more question about uh, Logan Storley. Recently got a win over uh, Michael Venom Page. Obviously, uh, yeah. with that win, obviously there, there came a lot of criticism about his performance from Scott Coker, saying that yeah. uh, what he was doing with his wrestling wasn't MMA. I guess I want to get your thoughts mm-hmm. on that and uh, his performance against Michael. Man, honestly, the end of the day, what matters is the win, you know. But, of course, his style is always going to get criticism. You know what I mean? Uh He's really good at what he does. You know, you can't take that away from him. You know, he lost what one time. You know, to to the current champion for Amosov, and it was a split decision, which he could have gone either way. You know, so the respect he's gotta have. You know, because he's been there, he's been winning his fights. You know, it's just not exciting, man. It's not exciting. Uh, he just held Page, you know, the whole time. You know what I mean, but. Could have gone either way, too, because Paige actually landed more strikes, right, if I'm not mistaken. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, people are not really fond of that, but he's doing his thing, though. You know, you can't hate on that. You know, got to give the guy the respect, but, you know, it's just not exciting. You know what I mean? People, people are not going to really be exciting for those type of fights, you know? Yeah, I totally understand. And uh, Bellator 283, mm-hmm. this is going to be the first time that uh, Bellator has been uh, to Washington State, obviously in Tacoma yeah. at the Emerald Queen Casino. Um, how mm-hmm. much does that mean to you to be able to headline an event like this uh, where Bellator hasn't been before? Yeah, it'd be good. You know, I've always liked to see new places, you know, mm-hmm. Seattle. I've uh, never been there before. I'm excited, you know, for first Bellator show there. So got to perform good, you know, got to perform right throw a banger of a fight, you know, for the for the new fans going there to watch it live for the first time. So I'm excited, man. I'm excited. Like I said, I like traveling. I like seeing new places, you know. Probably stay a couple of days there to see the city a little more after. So I'm excited definitely to, you know, perform in front, in front of a new crowd. So, you know, it's good. What are some of your uh, favorite places that you've traveled to? Uh, I mean, I like the beach. <laughs> 
Thailand, you know, was awesome. I was there training. Uh, and Israel, Israel, you know, that was really fun. You know, I fought there before, so that was, you know, it's the great thing about fighting. You know, I get to travel. You know what I mean? Doing what I love, you know. So I love it. You know, Bahamas is my favorite place, though. I love going there. I'll go there every month if I could. <laughs> Absolutely. You know what I mean? So I'm looking forward to get this fight over with and go there, sit on the beach for seven days, just doing nothing. <laughs> it's what I look forward the most, you know, spend time, you know, quality time with the kids and family at the beach. So got to get this win and, you know, go there and enjoy it a little bit and back to work. <laughs> Definitely, man. Well, hey, last yeah. question from me. Uh, what can fans expect from you at uh, Bellator 283? Man, I'm ready. I'm ready to go, man. I'm ready to go. Expect expect a good fight. You know, I'm going to throw down. I'm going to throw hard. You know, I want to look for a finish. I need a finish, you know what I mean? Uh, no pressure on myself, but I need a finish, and I'm going to be looking for it the whole time, you know? So uh, it's going to be a good one. So make sure you tune in, you know, and see this. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, uh, before yeah. we wrap things up here, I'll give you the floor to uh, shout out any sponsors you may have, shout out your team, yeah. all that good stuff. I'll uh, give you the final word. I always, man, I always, you know, appreciate my team, you know, my family, American Top Team, Team Lima, you know, everybody, my coach, Jukon, my brother, Diego, Triad, Triad Mechanicals, being with, me, being with me since the the beginning, you know, in my family too, the biggest supporter that I have, you know, Soccer Punch, my manager that's been helping me out a lot, you know what I mean, Monster, Perfect Sports, Hayabusa. That's my that's my main brands right there. So make sure you guys check them out. And you know, I always appreciate all the support for the fans that's been with me with the highest and lowest. You know, that's the real fans right there. So I appreciate you guys, and you know, make sure you tune in. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, Douglas, thanks again for the time. Really do appreciate it, and, and uh, yes, I'm sure we'll chat again soon. Thank you so much. Thanks, my brother. Have a good one.